And what is absorbed and what isn't. Aber auch im Verdauungstag trifft die Gallenblase die Entscheidung, was aufgenommen werden soll und was nicht. So you could have a kind of Xiaoyang Yang deficiency in a way, a lack of the Yang, a lack of the active deciding in a digestive pattern. And you might see this swelling at gallbladder 40 in those cases. Es gibt eine Form von einer Xiaoyang Yang Lehre, wo diese Entscheidungskraft uh, eingeschränkt ist. So then you might do Moxa, stomach 36 and gallbladder 40 together to put Yang into the system. Magen 36 und Gallenblase 40 mit Moxa behandeln. Or even better, really. Honestly, in this case, using herbs, one dantang with lots of ginger, double, triple the ginger. Oder noch besser Kräuter, one dantang with sehr viel über. So gallbladder 40 swelling is almost immediately means I should think about one dantang, not always use, but think about one dantang as a formula. Yeah. It's a great area for that single formula for me. Uh, what about uh, tenderness in this spot? I often find. A very severe tenderness. Of course, severe tenderness in this spot, don't forget to ask the obvious. Maybe they sprain their ankle. Maybe they have a history of sprained ankles. Maybe their ankles sprain easily. I often over, I, not, I sometimes over-interpret this area, and I forget to check the obvious. Is this an ankle that's easily injured? So that might be what you're feeling when you feel tenderness there. Of course, yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> Or maybe tenderness is, is also a deficiency. It's a sore point. Yeah. So it could be very tender. But usually it's a little puffy. Maybe not hugely puffy. Yes? Ich kann mich erinnern, dass Professor Rahner mal gesagt hat, dass wenn sich jemand einen Knöchel verletzt hat, auch das kein Zufall ist, sondern weil ich... Dr. Wang hat das gesagt. Ja, er hat gesagt, eine Narbe oder so, habe ich nicht, nicht die Narbe stört den Meridian, sondern ich habe da die Narbe, weil der Meridian schwach war und ich dadurch verletzt werde. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, she said that uh, even Dr. Wang, which is for me strange, a Chinese doctor singer, uh, that um, if you hurt an ankle, it's not by chance. So it has a certain meaning. Hmm. It means it only gets hurt when the gallbladder channel has been weak. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Moxa. Moxa gallbladder for you. All right. Um, in, 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 in the book, it's somehow written that uh, uh, puffiness at gallbladder 40 can be a sign of gallbladder chi stagnation, not so much deficiency. Yeah, I feel that more above where we're heading. So okay. that may just be it. I, I don't notice that, but maybe that's what Dr. Wong said. In the book, it's so that I can't remember, there is a swelling by gallbladder 40 can help us with gallbladder or show young chi stagnation also sein kann. But it, it, here it says uh, a young deficiency chi stagnation, whatever that means. Yeah. Anyway, further up the channel is where we start to feel excess. So let's head on up there. As we roll up the channel, three up from there, is we have we have gallbladder 39, the sea of marrow point. There's historical debate about the location of this point. Is it anterior or posterior to the fibula? In observing Dr. Wang, I've seen him needle it in both places, but I notice he tries to do the anterior location first, and if he just can't get in, then he does the posterior. And maybe that's Really, what happened historically is anterior maybe is the slightly better location because you want the marrow. You think you want to be close to the bones in that area, but maybe if you simply can't get it, then you have to go behind it. That's that's what I do. Dr. Wang, for in beide Lokationen erscheint aber die vordere zu bevorzugen und nadelt dann. Er versucht anterior der Fibula zu nadeln, aber wenn er dort nicht diesen schönen weiten Raum findet, dann geht er. Uh, hinter der Fibula. Wichtig ist diese Nähe zum Knochen, weil es ja der mehr des Markespunkt. Das ist beim vorderen Punkt vielleicht leichter. I mean, of course, our textbooks put it behind. But if you don't, if you're not aware of it, try checking in front. Sometimes there's a great space in there that maybe is better for. So you'll find sometimes nodules there, especially, or really a lot of tension there, and maybe blood stagnation in the brain. Bei der Blutstase im Kopf könnte man dort viele Knötchen finden. Einfach schauen, wo der tiefere oder tiefere Raum ist. You remember we talked yesterday about the heart five kidney six pair uh, for post-stroke patients. I'm always checking also gallbladder 39 in the same patterns to see if you can feel blood stagnation there. 
And these three points, two pivots, Xiaoyin, Xiaoyang, can be a treatment. 